paraphrase the British geneticist Jabius Haldane, in my suspicion, that the universe is not only stranger than we suppose, it's stranger than we can suppose. The context was life and evolution, but he might as well be talking about Saturn's moons. Those teeny worlds are some of the strangest places we've ever seen. Titan is a massive moon with an atmosphere thicker than Earth's. If it wasn't for the bone crippling cold and unbreathable atmosphere, you could wear a pair of wings and fly around in the titanic skies. There's Enceladus, an icy moon that blasts water out into space through its geysers at its southern pole. But the Saturnian moon that fascinates me the most has got to be Iapetus, also known as Saturn's yin yang moon. So here's a photo captured by Cassini. And check out the bizarre surface features where half the moon is icy white and the other is brownish red. Astronomers believe this strange coloration comes from the ice on the warmer side sublimating away and leaving this darker material beneath. Sure, that's a bit odd, but the strangest feature on Iapetus is the equatorial ridge. This feature measures 1300 kilometers long and it makes the moon look like a space walnut. Because of the heavy cratering on the ridge, astronomers know that it's ancient nearly as old as the moon itself. But at 13 kilometers high, it's tall enough to keep up the most persnickety white walker or wildling mammoth and giant battalion. So what could possibly create a feature like this? Astronomers are of a few camps. The first, they get formed through convective activity early on in the moon's history. Saturn pulls Iapetus with its tremendous gravity and the moon undergoes massive tidal forces. This generates heat in the moon's interior and it might have caused it to blob out at the equator. A second idea is that Iapetus consumed one of Saturn's rings billions of years ago. The moon might have slowly wandered through the ring plane and accreted all the ring material like snow piling up in front of a plow. A third is that Iapetus was smashed into by a massive asteroid billions of years ago and this impact caused the moon to fly apart but then the mutual gravity pulled it back together and the force of the recombination squeezed out material at the equator which then solidified in place. Alternatively, it might be a walnut from a Galactus family Christmas stocking. So which is it? It turns out that Saturn has two more moons in its system with similar equatorial ridges. Its moon Atlas is just 15 kilometers across but it's dominated by an equatorial ridge. It, it looks like a UFO and Pan has a similar feature. Astronomers know that both of these created the ridges by pulling material out of the rings and piling it up on their surface. And this is the mechanism that seems to match what's going on with Iapetus. One mystery is how distantly Iapetus orbits Saturn. There's no ring that far out. So where to get the material to consume? Is it possible that Iapetus drifted outward or had a ring system of its own? You want puzzles? Iapetus is one of the strangest places in the solar system, and it would be my candidate for a future orbiter or lander. Let's explore closer. So what's your favorite bizarre object in the solar system? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen, and we'd like to thank Victor Traveris, Alan Orr, and the rest of the members who support us in making great space and astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get on the action? Click here. One mystery is how distantly Iapetus or orbits. <laughs> Do you have to snicker every time? Yes. <laughs>